What's going on everyone? Got updates for you. Updates on the front motor kit. Yes, I'm making more. They are being manufactured right now. I've got them on pre-order. They're up on the site, you know, citizenperformance.com. They're for pre-order right now. But I am having more 26 by 4 fat tire front motor kits made. You know, I did a whole batch of them earlier in the year and I sold out. Before they even got to the US, I sold through all of them. And I had a whole bunch of people emailing me saying, you know, when are you doing it again? When do you want, I didn't get one. I didn't get one, I want one. When are you gonna make more? Well, I've already, you know, the order's been placed. They're being manufactured. They should be done in the next couple weeks. So if you've ever thought about putting a front motor onto your existing fat tire bike, that's what the kit does. That's what I sell. It's a complete kit that gives you like everything you need. The front motor already laced into a wheel, the controller, the display, the throttle, the wiring harness everything the battery included and i've got it on this wired bike right now but i've put it on a hemiway zebra i put it on my aventon bike i've put it on this wired bike and this is it right here a complete front motor kit 750 watt geared hub motor in the front 45 amp controller 20 52 volt 20 amp hour battery pack and all the hardware and stuff you need to make your own all-wheel drive so they're they're being built realistic estimate right now probably looking at second week of October before I can actually begin to ship them to customers. So just to prepare you, it's on pre-order. That's probably how long it's gonna take. I mean, overseas manufacturing, it takes a while to get it built and shipped over here and, and ready to go out and through customs and all that stuff. All right, so next topic, 20 inch wheel kits. Yes, I'm gonna make those too. And I, I feel like I've been saying this forever, but the samples finally left the manufacturer. I should have the 20 inch wheel kit sample in my hands like probably next week. So next week I'll have that one. I'll be able to test it, confirm it's good, and then we'll place the order with the manufacturer for that. So I'll have 20 inch kits available for pre-order on the website probably in the next couple of weeks or so. And I, I got a huge request for that too. People wanted to convert whatever 20 inch wheel bike to all wheel drive. They're on their way. So I'm, I'm gonna, you know, we're just buttoning up everything, make sure it's all right before we place the order. So those are on the way. I'm slowly building out this site where I'm going to include as many things as I can to help the performance of your bike. And I've already started adding extra things on the site. Like I had extra batteries and extra forks. I put those up for sale on the site. So there's still some batteries available. I've already sold through all my forks. And I'm going to start building out an a la carte menu as well. So if you don't want to buy a whole motor kit from me, you don't want the whole thing. Let's say you got your own DIY e-bike project you're working on and you just want a battery or a controller or a front motor in a wheel. I'm going to have all that on there too. I'm, I've got a whole, I ordered a whole batch of motors and wheels, which will be here honestly before the kits are even done. I'll probably have extra motors, you know, already laced into a front wheel. I'll have those probably by end of September. So I'm gonna put those on the site for pre-order. If you wanna reserve one of those, great. If not, you wanna wait until they're in stock, fine, whatever. I'm just trying to make this stuff available. It's pretty hard to find. 135 millimeter dropout geared hub motor for the front wheel. There's a couple sites that have the motor, but they don't have it laced into a wheel. Mine's laced into a wheel. And then I'm working on a few other things too that I'm gonna to try to put on there as well that I think are going to be helpful. So there you go. We're building out not only the wheel kits, but also all the individual pieces. So you can grab whatever pieces you want. I've ordered extra. Like I said, I got the, the motors coming in real soon and I'm going to have extra controllers, wiring harnesses, throttles, all that stuff. There you go. And why would you want to make your bike all wheel drive? Well, if you've never ridden all wheel drive, it's a different experience. It'll take your normal 750 watt bike. It'll make it a whole new bike. It totally amplifies the power by, I mean, it feels like it's double at least. Yeah, I mean, really it is. You got, you got two motors, same power. Mine's even more powerful though, but pull out of this hill, no problem. So the kit's designed to give you more hill climb power like that, and breeze up that hill, or give you fast acceleration. It's kind of just like a go fast button. I set it up so it's a separate throttle. That way you're not, like if I'm doing a low speed turn like this and I accidentally pedal or hit the throttle, you don't get the front wheel spinning out on you. I like being able to just use the front wheel as needed. And that's kind of what this is for. If I want to shoot out, there's cars coming and I just, 
want to take off like crazy, I get that just surge of acceleration. Um, it really helps with hills though. That's kind of the big reason you might want to add it. If you've got that bike where you're just like, man, this thing's perfect. I love this bike. I added all my accessories to it. And I just wish it had more hill climb power. That's the way to, that's one way to do it. The other way is buy a whole new bike <laughs> with more power. But the other way is if you like your bike, add the front motor kit and you'll just get gobs more power at your disposal anytime you want it. There you go. Up over into the mid 30s with these. I got to change my speedometers to match. I got the wheel settings set different. I think I got to fix that. There's the updates. We're going to have motors already laced into wheels probably in like a month those will be ready here to ship you want to get one of those i'm gonna have motor kits probably in stock assuming i don't sell out on pre-order again i might sell out again before they even get here but the kits probably second week of october and then all the other pieces will come in too because they'll probably put, ship those all at the same time so second week of october i'll have a lot of extra pieces as well here we go let's get to the bottom of this hill this will be kind of a good demo right really steep hill coming out of this neighborhood now i'm on one of the strongest bikes you can buy this is a a wired freedom which has a 1500 watt motor in it you know peaks like 2500 watts i'm gonna try to pull this hill using just the wired motor your stock bike here we go so good pull right your 750 bike won't won't do this strong now i weigh like 180 pounds let's say you weigh like 280 <laughs> which or 300 a lot of people email me and say that like i've got this bike and i weigh 300 pounds and it can't carry me let's do the same thing we'll add in the front motor all right here we go let's go both motors now i'm gonna get a lot of spin because i'm going uphill but get the idea just crazy burnout i mean exponentially easier up a very steep hill at 30 plus and climbing it's a dramatic power increase it is it is dramatic power i mean this is never this ride's never not thrilling on this bike good stop sign to stop sign bike here let's slow down and go this way. Oh, manage the spin on the curve there. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh. Love this thing. Gosh. And brakes. And out on the main road. Oh, hit the throttle late. There we go. I mean, the wire is so much fun without this, but gosh. Put that motor kit in there. Look out. All right, I pulled over to fix my settings. The speed limit's driving me crazy. Let's go down. Why am I at diameter 26 inch? Let's change that. It's supposed to be 29. That's why my speedometer's not right. There we go. That fixed my speeds. Now they match. Gotta have the right wheel settings in there. Much better. Oh, we got some jets. Those are some low flying F 15s. Wow. Okay, four of them. All right, let's get backed up here. We're gonna do a zero to 30 launch. Ready? Here we go. Timer ready. Three, two, one, go. Woo, man. There it is. So be sure to check in on uh, citizenperformance.com every once in a while, see what parts I'm putting up on there. And uh, that's all I got for you today. Talk to y'all later.